serious lack of communication is now also affecting our tourism industry, with travellers lamenting the long waiting hours at the Hosea Kutakwa International Airport following Home Affairs' new biometric system which was introduced at the airport. A lot of blame shifting has taken place, which has left our tourists and travellers less than excited about exploring the land of the brave. We spoke to the Hospitality Association of Namibia's Gita Petzold about this. Unfortunately, tourism as such was taken a bit by surprise by the timing of the implementation of, of this very um, important system. We have been sort of long awaiting the electrification or the, the electronic process of, of scanning and immigration in, in Namibia. And we're proud that Namibia has met the, the international demands in, in this regard. But unfortunately, none of the people in tourism were actually forewarned by the Ministry of Home Affairs, and I believe that there was also not too much coordination between the Namibia Airport Company. Um, I've only seen um, an official statement by Air Namibia, an airline that actually has nothing to do with the immigration system, but they actually apologized on behalf of Namibia to, to the travelers on board um, for the delays in scanning. So as much as we welcome... Uh, the modification and, and the modernization of, of the immigration system in Namibia, we are a bit upset about the timing and the lack of communication. Um, we've seen long, long queues. Um, some planes were even delayed. Incoming people um, took two hours to be checked out, which means that they lost out on a city tour prior to them departing for lodges. So, yeah, the system has caused a lot of delays, a lot of frustration, and unfortunately none of the aims that we had, and, you know, we in it together, tourism is everybody's business, and tourism begins at home, those mottos that we as tourism have been singing, none of that seems to be taken in for real, and none of it seems to be respected. So uh, we and tourism feel a bit disrespected at the moment. People coming into Namibia get confronted with an hour or two delay. It looks not very efficient and not very professional. Um, we also have had reports of people fainting on the tarmac because the queues are so long, and unfortunately summer has hit us quite early this year. So people making um, made, made to stand in long queues waiting for them to be checked through is a very inconvenient, very inhospitable um, reception and welcome to a country. So all in all, our image has been affected negatively. We all know that new system and the introduction of new systems always do come with a few hurdles, but such hurdles could have been um, avoided if better coordination had taken place and maybe a different timing. September is the peak of high season in tourism for Namibia. Um, so why the system had to be introduced on the 1st of September, we don't know. We have also had no correspondence from the Ministry of Home Affairs, who we see, see as one of our key partners in tourism. Home Affairs placed the blame squarely on the Namibia Airport's company. We have, uh, we have received complaints, although they're not formal complaints. It's actually what we have uh, seen on social media, whereby the public is actually blaming the delay on the new system. And as a ministry, we would love to uh, rectify this out loud and clear to the public. The delay is actually not with the system and not that the, 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 the staff members are, can't operate with the system. What we have introduced, which is now the e-border management system, this is an international system that has been utilized at all other international borders. And we, this, with the system, the system is up and running. The system is integrated. The system, uh, I mean, staff members were trained on how to use the system. And we also have a technical, uh, I mean, an expert of, tech, uh, of technicians on the ground. In terms, I mean, whenever the, te uh, the, the system fails us, we have experts on the ground on standby. And um, secondly, uh, we don't want to play the, uh, the, the blame-shifting game. But as a ministry, we are, we, we are hard at work with what we have as of current. Um, what is challenging, though, is that we only have one terminal. One terminal that, uh, that is giving us problem where everybody is doing up to go through that terminal. So if probably or if maybe the uh, airport, uh, and I mean airport company, could um, give the ministry either more than two, two terminals, this could have fast-tracked the process of checking out people. Mm -hmm. That's the challenge we're having. The Namibia Airports Company issued the following statement on the matter. 
With all new systems and changes, there are a few hiccups and teething problems, which in this case has resulted in delays and long queues for passengers traveling in and out of Namibia. In all fairness, we as Namibia Airport's company need to acknowledge that the long queues have been experienced at the airport due to infrastructure limitations, and this has been reported in the mainstream media as well. The Ministry of Home Affairs and Immigration has held several meetings with the Namibian Airports Company, the Namibian Police and relevant stakeholders to try and see how to alleviate these queues and hasten the processing of all passengers. We will implement these strategies within the next few weeks to improve passenger experience at Hosea Kotako International Airport.